The main and the fane falls mainly on the plane. <laughs> ah. The palace door, wide open. Please, Brandar, they say, come in. We'll be so happy nice to see you. I do apologize. How rude of me to walk around town with my weapon out. Uh, my mind slips at times. Hello there. Oh, hello. Just tidying up. Oh, carry on. Thank you so much. What a palace, hmm? And I suppose you are the chef? Everyone knows General Tullius wields the real power in solitude. Elisif? Yeah, she's a figurehead. A puppet. General Tullius. Leading the Empire to their own destruction, hmm? I suppose I should not be surprised. These are the bed chambers for the servants. Shan't touch anything there. You know, they don't have much. Would be so very rude of Brandar to take from those who have little. Especially as Brandar's wealth grows and grows. What is going on here? Respect the law, and you'll have no trouble in Dragonbridge. I shall try. Mind you don't cross Tassius. He's in charge around here. Tarsius, hmm? Hello there. My name is Brandar, I'm but a simple bar, passing through solitude. What is your name? Do you have business with the court? Uh, not so much. I thought perhaps I could play a song for you. Maybe, uh, you would enjoy something like that, hmm? Feel free to return to me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open forum. Oh! That's nice to know. So I don't have any business here, but I can just kind of hang out and enjoy myself for a little while. That's quite nice. How generous they are here. I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then what we will cave? immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under my Your Eminence, rule. my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragonbridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell <laughs> Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. Interesting. What is the I've cave? I've what I came for. I better get back to Dragonbridge. Please tell me about the Wolf Skull Cave that you spoke of uh, to the Jarl. Maybe Brandar can help. I've done my part. Dragonbridge will have extra guards. Folk Firebeard will find a way to take care of the cave. <sighs> Yes, I've told them I write it off. Okay, that's fine. Good luck to you, sir. All right, then. Just like this fellow, you know, obey the law. They, they won't give you any trouble here. Always handing his own safety up to someone else. Pfft. Doesn't even have a sword. What if trouble should find you on the roads, huh? Ugh. Can't talk sense into some people. Well, I suppose I should uh, pay my respects to the Jarl, but uh, the court wizard, court wizard, I assume this woman, talking about scrying, also made me prick my ears up. But it would be rude to approach the wizard first. I already approached this fellow. I apologize for that. Hello to you. If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. And I did do that. He wasn't able to tell me so much. Um, can you tell me, are you the High Queen of Skyrim now? Not yet, no. Although it is true my husband Torik was the High King, and I am his widow. Now is not the time to lay claim to such a title. This land is riven by war, and her people suffer for it. The Stormcloaks are a blight on Skyrim, and like any blight, <laughs> must be purged. Only then will I take my rightful place as High Queen. 
So what you're saying is you want someone else to take care of the problem so you can take over a land that is uh, completely unified. I tell you this, my lady, that is uh, not always the role of a leader. A leader must unify the people as one. And I am not sure that you are prepared to do that, if you'll pardon me saying so. Do you know for what reason Ulfric killed your husband? Because that's what traitorous cowards do when they desire power. Ulfric coveted oh. the High King's throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torig. And so he came before my husband and he... He shouted. With that terrible voice. Like something out of a legend. Or a nightmare. When Ulfric unleashed such fury... My husband, he... He simply ceased to be. That is all I will say. Or it grieves me to speak of it. I do apologize for bringing up some, uh... Something so sensitive to you. Uh, but... Brandar does like to ask the questions. Maybe, uh, find out a little more about Ulfric. I think that, uh, writing off his motivation to just being a traitorous coward is... Not, uh... Not the full answer, hmm? Perhaps it has something to do with the Aldemary Dominion and being taken over by Imperials, having laws implemented on your people that uh, they don't seem to want for the most part. At least they seem split about it. Perhaps uh, it should be discussed a bit more instead of vilifying a person who was trying to step up and uh, beat back the Imperials, as it were. For tell, tell me, uh, for what reason do you trust this General Tullius, hmm? A question I am all too familiar with. One my very thanes ask often. They worry that Tullius is so focused on the war that he risks forgetting what's best for our people. The real irony is hmm. that, while General Tullius is certainly no Nord, the people of Skyrim would be lost without him. Trust is always difficult, especially for my people. Yet we must trust in Tullius' leadership. For what other choice do we have? What other choice do we have? Of course, there's always an option. Stand up. Rally your people behind whichever banner you choose. Become the High Queen. Do you not see? You sit back and uh, whiffle and waffle about all of these things that uh, you claim are out of your control. It's simply not true, my lady. I might be but a humble bard, but uh, even I can see this. Why can you not? <sighs> Regardless, the last thing on the, my agenda, at least uh, as far as you are concerned, is the cave that man mentioned a bit earlier. Would you like someone to go uh, check it out for you? And if so... Would there be uh, a certain amount of pay involved? Oh, I thought that matter was handled. I think Falk is taking care of that. Yes, well, taking care of is much different from uh, being taken care of. Do you understand what I mean? He can say that he's taking care of it, but the, until it is taken care of, actually, you know what? Never mind. Thank you so much for your time, Queen. Uh, you're you're quite a ruler. Mm hmm quite something indeed. Uh, I shall have uh, some conference with your Jarls, your court wizard. See if I might be able to set them a bit, uh, a bit more straight, huh? Thank you. Be well. Pray for solitude and my husband. Hmm, perhaps I shall. Solitude does need a lot of praying for with a, a leader like her at the helm. My goodness. A city lost, that's what I can tell. Hello to you, Mr. Falk Firebeard. Do you have business with the court? Ah, well, I heard that you were helping, looking for uh, someone to help you with this cave that the gentleman spoke of near Dragon Bridge. Randar would like to volunteer his services for a price, if that is something that would interest you. Mean you mean the Dragon Bridge issue? I'll be honest with you, I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, 
I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. Well, that is good enough for me. See, this is what I told to this fellow. Don't trust anybody else to do their work for you. This this is simply ridiculous. Ah, Brandar shall go. Brandar will take care of everything. Do you know for what reason is it called Wolf Skull Cave? Cave? has a bad history. Long ago, Potema the Wolf Queen used it for necromantic rituals. That's where it got the name. That was over 500 years ago. Nothing much down there now. But everyone's always convinced the cave is haunted. Hmm, quite interesting to me. I think that I should quite enjoy this uh, haunt haunted cave. Thank you for the tip. So, can I talk to you quite privately about your queen? Because she doesn't seem to know what she's doing at all. She just wants to blame other people and the circumstances for what is going on instead of standing up and taking the reins for herself. Which is, it seems quite ridiculous. I understand she's the wife of a king, but that doesn't make her fit to rule. At least in one humble bard's opinion. I do apologize if you are offended by this, sir, but I must tell you truthfully the the way that I see it. I've been in here only 10 minutes or so and I, I can point out the problems to you. One, two, three. Tell me truthfully, quietly, does General Tullius actually respect this High Queen? Of course he does. What sort of a question is that? Maybe you've been listening to Eriker. There's been loose talk among some of the Thanes, and I suspect he's the cause of it. You'll pay those rumors no heed if you wish to retain your welcome in this city. She may be young, but Elisif is the Jarl by right. And here in Skyrim, if nothing else, we respect the traditions of our father's fathers. You'd do well to remember that. As I said, I do apologize if uh, my line of questioning is uh, a bit... A bit out of hand, you know? The... The... Khajiit culture is quite a bit different, you know? We don't hold titles in such a high regard. We do have a main, but uh, most of the villages and such remain autonomous, so it's uh, not completely out of the out of line to question the word of the fa the the main i apologize the main and the thane falls mainly on the plane <laughs> it's but a joke i'm trying to lighten the mood come on give me a smile uh, tell me this what will happen if if uh, the empire wins the war what happens to this high queen of that yours remains to be seen by rights, she has a legitimate claim as High Queen of Skyrim. But we must have the support of the other Jarls for that claim to have any meaning. Should they accept her rule, we will have peace. Well, peace is uh, an easy thing to establish, but this is a bit harder to maintain, I think. Uh, I thank you for the questionings. Um, I thank you for the tip. And I apologize for my candor, you know. Brandar needs to learn to watch his tongue. Sometimes it flaps a bit loosely. Especially in the presence of those who consider him to be their superior. <laughs> but Brandar has no superiors. This is the, this is the truth. <laughs> Regardless, thank you, sir. I shall take my leave now. Check out the Wolf Skull Cave. And uh, I wish you luck in all of your future endeavors, yes? Please. Feel welcome in the Court of Solitude. Feel welcome, he says, after I was just reprimanded for having some questions. Simple questions, they were. Hello, Please Dio. Please address all questions to the steward, Falk Firebeard. Uh, I, I did, he yelled at me. This was not very nice. Well, I'm hello to you, steward. Court Magister. If you have court business to tend to. You talk to me. Be quick. I have little no patience for business. mundane concerns. Oh my, I was simply saying hello, Yarl I was hoping you could teach disturbed. me something if about strying, hmm? You would know it. Those concerns to me. Hmm, what, what is your problem exactly? Nothing. I'm busy, and I don't like being bothered unless I'm expecting something from you. Oh, don't give me that look. 
Fine. I suppose I can find some menial task to set your mind on. Hmm. hmm. We have something of a vampire problem. Bodies have been found with blood drained. I know of a den nearby you can wipe out as a precaution. Interesting. Uh, are you not a vampire yourself? Perhaps I should wipe you out. <laughs> I kid, I kid. I see that your magical power is great. I, I shall see what I can do about those vampires I for don't you, expect sure. You to be capable of even that. Fascinating. <sighs> How long have you been the court wizard here? Hmm? I was a member of the court during the reign of Torg's father. It was Torg who appointed me to the position. Hmm. Well, you do look very young. I like to think I've aged well. I'm certainly wiser than I once was. And I know when one should speak, and when one should hold their tongue. Yes. Something Brandar needs to learn, I do think. <clears throat> but that will not uh, deter me from this line of questioning. <sighs> Please tell me. Were you there when High King Torin died? I was, to my shame. The whole court was in attendance. I've seen much in my time, but that was a gruesome day. How did it happen exactly? With, with your own words, please. I've heard this. He used the voice, it wasn't fair, such and such. From what I understand, it was a duel. Please tell me Ulfric how. Ulfric showed up at the Gates of Solitude, requesting an audience. We thought he was here to ask Torg to declare independence. By the time we realized Ulfric was here to challenge Torg, it was already too late. And why is, why is that? By Nord custom, once the challenge was issued in court, Torg had no choice but to accept. Had he not, Ulfric would have had cause to call a new moot and a new vote for High King. Torg had some martial training, of course, but it mattered little that day. When Ulfric's lips parted, when he unleashed the power of the Thum, that shout, that ancient and terrible tongue, ripped Torg asunder. It's quite interesting to me, though, that uh, the challenge, once it's issued, etc., etc., he knew that uh, Ulfric had the Thum in his, in his capabilities, so why would he accept? Why not... Uh, allow a new moot to be called, maybe a new high king, things like this, and then y you might not be the high king anymore, but you would still be alive, no? Ah, uh, quite complicated, these Nord things. Tell me why Torek was killed, to your understanding. Because Ulfric needed a symbol. Someone he could defeat that represented the Empire. The White Gold Concordat, the banning of Talos' worship. Torig's father Islot had held Skyrim together for nearly 25 years. When he died, Torg became that symbol. Hmm. So the war was only started when Islot had died, correct? No. Even after Islot died, the moot voted to make Torig High King of Skyrim. But Ulfric was at that moot, continually talking about Skyrim's independence in terms just shy of treason. I don't think Ulfric knew how much Torg respected him for that. If Ulfric had asked Torg directly to stand up, to declare independence, Torg might have done it. My goodness. I'm not sure what to say about that. It sort of makes Ulfric seem a bit more like the murderer, does it not? Ah. Oh. How can Brandar pick a side now? If I, if I go to one side, I'm siding with the Empire and oppressing these people who deserve to have their independence. If I'm on the other side, I am with someone who will kill just to make a point. Why would Ulfric not simply ask Torig? Ah, perhaps he thought that he would not be able to convince him something like this? How could Torig have known? Oh, this is complicated. Uh, politics, huh? <laughs> Tell me, explain to me why Tuareg would not declare independence on his own. Then him and Ulfric would be on the same side, no? 
because it seems only right that the this the the Nord should have Skyrim to themselves. They should be able to move forward independently without the Empire and the White Gold Concordat and all of this uh, political mumbo jumbo coming down upon their heads. No, what is Thoric's reason for because that? Because the Dominion is a sleeping beast that Skyrim cannot slay alone. Because many Nords are part of the Imperial Army even now. Because the food and resources we get from the Empire are important to our people. Because even if we can't openly worship him, Talos the God was once Tiber Septim the Man, and this is his Empire. And Torg wasn't ready to let it fall apart. Hmm. Perhaps he should have been. I know that many people oppose the Empire. If uh, some messengers were sent, Skyrim could not slay it alone, but Cyrodiil is surrounded on all sides, you see. Khajiits largely are for independence, you know. Despite the main going into Vale and Wood, things like this, that is simply a matter of greed. But overall, he wants villages to remain autonomous, you know. <sighs> Quite complicated indeed. I'm unsure what to think. I, I was told that you could teach me about magic. Most of what I've learned today has been of politics and my brain is swelling just a little bit. But I can fit one more piece of information. Could you tell me where I could learn some more about magic? I have no time or patience for a student. Perhaps the College of Winterhold will grant you admission. College of Winterhold. There is also a Bard's College around here. I should uh, put my mind to finding that. Ah, uh, I thank you, Sibyl, for your time. I shall go check those vampires out as as soon as uh, time permits, hmm? Ah. Appreciative, yes. Thank you. Take care of yourself, and always remember, the world is ripe with people looking to spill your blood. The Jarl is not to be disturbed that with the common the affairs truth, of hmm? court. You direct those concerns to me. Oh, my goodness. What a discovery here, hmm? If Ulfric had simply asked Torek to step down, Torek might have done it. What is the might? How powerful is that might? If it is without a doubt, then... Ah. But she said that Ulfric never knew how much Torek looked up to him. So perhaps Ulfric is not murdering without a reason. Perhaps Ulfric thought this was something that he had to do. Ah, complicated. I must rest my mind for just a little while. Simply ridiculous. All of this politicking and such. Ah, I should also uh, find some some vampires and some necromancers in the Wolf Skull Cave. Perhaps it could take my mind off of things, but... After what I've been told today, I don't think I can consider myself a Stormcloak any longer. I was under the impression that we were all fighting for Skyrim's independence, that it was a good thing. That it couldn't be avoided, but... It seems that it could have been. About as simple as they come, you know? Ah, and now I seem to be a bit lost in the town. The town that will become my prison. The life that has become my prison. Ah. By the gods. Why can't there be simple answers in life, hmm? Why can't I understand things a bit better? Hmm. Not how it was meant to be, I suppose. Well, right. I suppose a little lie down couldn't hurt. Get back to the winking skiver. I'm a bit more amicable toward these people now. It seems uh, they're simply doing what they think is right. As his friend are, you know? Ah, there is no good and evil in this world. Except for that thief fellow who asked me to crash a boat, but... Yes? Hmm. Welcome Hello to, to the Winking Skeever, friend. Ah, yeah. 
Most gracious of you. I'd like to rent a room, if you sure please. Thing. It's yours for a day. One whole day. Could I also uh, perform here? Of course. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Well, let's uh, wait on the room until the performance gets going, huh? I think you should quite like. Oh, there's, there's not really a large audience here. You want to have a, a duel? You can have a duel if you'd like. Feel free to make requests. Hmm. Are you a member of the Bard's College? I mean that I'm a graduate. I work here at the Winking Skeever. I would highly recommend it, though. Talk to Viarmo if you're interested. Interesting. You should think Thank about you. staying the night. This one's a favorite of mine. Beware, beware, the dragonborn comes. For the darkness she has seems a bit set on uh, yet grows. being the one that performs you know, here. And it is her job. The dragonborns come. My job is to get some sleep. How about that? Oh, sorry about that, little girl. Close this door. Don't want to be creepy, hmm? Where could it be, that room? This room of mine? Hmm. Fancy digs, yes? Well, friends, I shall see you in the morrow. Thank you so much for joining me. Ah, until the next time. Goodbye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.